Today, I'm going to teach you my favorite Tesla scalping strategy with a 70% back tested win rate, and we also have a 1.4 profit factor. Inside this video, we're going to be discussing the red to green opening candle flush and how you can enter and exit and which time frame to use. But if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to give you five of the best stocks to use with this strategy that have a better back test results set up than Tesla. It's going to blow your mind, some of them paying twice as much for every trade you take. Here's the setup though. I'm not going to waste your time trying to bat, beat around the bush. It's basically using RSI on a gap up that is pushing us to oversold. It's one of the easiest setups in the book. And if you can play it with the right stocks, you have the best chance of being profitable with it. We used this strategy live inside the Discord one day while we were scalping Tesla and it worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we did and I'm gonna show you exactly how we used it. So RSI, if you don't know what it is, um, it's an oscillator that is below your chart that goes overbought, oversold, and it just oscillates between those readings. Anything in the middle is kind of like nothing's happening. It's kind of a choppy play. There's no good trades to take. A good RSI trader is only taking those levels. So there's a couple parts to RSI I want to point out. The purple line is going to be your actual RSI. So it takes into account 14 of the last candles, calculates something, and then tells you if it's statistically too far overbought or too far oversold. And if that happens, that's where we see reversals. Because statistically speaking, it can't stay in that region too long. It has to consolidate. It has to drop back. Because if it moves too quickly, you know we have a high chance of making money on the reversals from statistics. And then the yellow line with RSI is a moving average just applied to the RSI readings. So every time RSI makes a new level, um, the moving average gets calculated in with the last 14 readings. So whenever we get a cross on the moving average, that can also be a trade entry or exit with people. So we see like the purple line crossing the yellow. That is where people can enter to trade because that's where the momentum is shifting. RSI is going beneath the moving average, which is producing, let's say, bearish momentum. Or we go above the moving average, it's producing a bullish moving average crossover setup. So you can play all those setups. Oversold, overbought, MA cross over. And what I want to do next is I want to go over the chart. I want to talk about the best scenario and how to use this. So it's real simple before I go over the chart and show you it live with candles. The strategy is simple. We're using the opening candles. So the first 10 candles on the four minute time frame. So the four minute time frame is the best back test results from what I've found. And the first 10 candles guarantees us um, we enter in when there's the most volume. So when there's a lot of volume, there's a better chance of a reaction when the RSI signal happens. But if we wait till like midday and you're taking this setup midday, it's not going to work because there's not enough volume and there's too much chop. And so what we're looking to do is take profit half of our position off at like the 45 RSI, which is the middle of RSI. So we see it around 50 is the middle, 45 is a little bit under that. But if we could take profit in the middle, um, that is where I see the most profitability on these setups. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you those other top five stocks. So don't go anywhere. But let's go to Tesla. And what I want to do is go to the time frame on the four minute. Let me just switch this here for everyone. And I had to add this time frame manually. So you just go down here, you type in four on the minute, click add, and there's your new time frame. And what I did is I made all my candles gray, except for when they are above oversold or below overbought or flip that around. And then I turn them red or green. So that's telling me when the RSI is extended. If I double click my screen, RSI is going to pop on. And this is going to help you visually see everything I'm trying to teach. So when it's yellow, that's the opening candle. So I can tell you when the trade is going to start looking for entries or the bot's going to start looking for entries. And over here, um, let me show you exactly how this works. So the strategy, what we want to do is take the trade when it leaves this region of overbought. So overbought is when we go over like 70 or it could be 75 or it could be 80. Depends on what metrics you think are best from your back testing. 
So what you can do is you can take the first gray candle. So when it flips from red to gray, that would be your entry into this RSI reversal. So typically I only take it in the first 10 to five to 10 candles. So this would be too far for me. It, we're getting towards the middle of the day or the end of the morning. So the volume is a lot lower. So I wouldn't have taken this trade based off my criteria. As you see by the trading view, there's no trade taken. Um, but another strategy is you can take it when the moving average crosses the RSI. So that's a little earlier of a reading, um, but that was closer to the top. So you would have been able to scale out. And then again, we take profit at the 45 to 50 zone. So right about here. So if you did take this trade with the crossover, um, you could have exited this for profits for about three points down on Tesla. And you would have had a bot exit or you could have exited at that 45 to 50 zone. And you could leave half the position on to run to like the 35, 40 zone, which happens over here. And it's actually the same exact price level we bought it at. So you wouldn't have lost money in that trade. Um, but you could just exit the whole position in the middle of RSI. It's really up to you and what you think is best for your strategy. Um, but I want to show you a good example of when this worked out perfectly. So again, opening candle opens up over bought, gap up, and then within the first five candles, we go to gray. So which means RSI moves out of over bought. And that's where we take the trade. So we see a short here. And what we see now is the drop, the gap fill, which is a great setup to play off of regardless of RSI. And then we hit the 45 reading. So that's where we exit. And that was a really clean setup, really easy trade. And that's from 204 down to 198. So that was about a six point move in Tesla. But the true win, the best scenario for this setup is a red to green flush. And that's where you go from uh, sell signal on our side to a buy signal within the first hour of the market open. And I'm going to talk about the reversal of this too. You know, if you were to buy the dip, why it's not the best scenario. So make sure you don't do the reverse scenario thinking it's going to be just as profitable because it's not. Um, here's a good, this is the opposite of what I'm saying, but this is a green to red flush. So we flush higher and that would that's an ideal scenario. And that's the maximum you can make in this trade is when you get that move because it typically doesn't go and make you more than that. Um, here's one of them. So we go from red to gray. So we enter at the highs on Tesla and we go from 212 all the way down to 206. So another six point move and that's a red to green flush that actually took all day. But this one was within, I think, it might've been over the 10, li 10 candle limit, but um, that setup, if you extended your limit, could have been great. Um, there's another red to green flush here. And this is within, again, those first 10 candles. So you enter here. It's a little early, honestly, because it went higher, but that's about 194 and we come to green at like 192 to 190. So two to four point move lower with a red to green all day flush. Over here, um, red to green flush, pretty simple. And the reason why we don't like to trade the, the green to red, if I click my RSI code here and I flip it to the bull, so playing only the bullish moves. Let me see if I find an example. Here's one. We just don't see that many wins. And the profitability factor is lower, the profit factor is lower, so you can't make as much money from this, unfortunately. So that's why I don't really play that scenario for it. Um, the one way to get around this is you could play like a deeper signal, like if RSI was at like 25, so you only take the most beaten down <laughs> morning gaps. Um, or you could take like a 40 signal, so a very small gap could be like, uh, this one came up to like 35. And what you do as a back tester to make sure you're figuring out what's going to be good for you in the markets is you just constantly adjust. So let's make oversold 35 now. So we're taking every reading that hits 35. 
So you would have took that one. You would have bought it back at 45 RSI. And so we go here to Strategy Tester. It does make us a higher percentage of winning trades, but the profitability is not there. So it's not a profitable setup still. You know, you go long at the 35. So you can keep back testing to try to tweak it, make it perfect. Let's try 40. And we go to the back tester and now 73% profitability, 1.1 profit factor. So we're getting close to a profitable sell signal at the open and a profitable buy signal at the open. So you can play both sides now. But again, it does take tweaking to find the right settings, the right entry. And from my experience, I like playing the other side better. But you can see if you have your code, you can find everything that works to play any side of the market, play any stock, play any time frame. The last thing I want to show you before I go over the other five stocks that work the best with this strategy is if you change your time frames, it's also going to change your strategy results. So this one actually made that gap down open more profitable. So it's 1.7 profit factor. If I added like a two minute candle, I could test that one. And then this one makes it even more profitable. Uh, it's 77, but it's 1.7. So it's pretty close, but um, it has less trades. So we should trust it less. On this one, less trades, we should trust it less as well. And then we go to the five minute time frame just gets less profitable from there. So it's kind of perfect around the three to four minute time frame. And we can only find that from tweaking. So lastly, let me just go over real quick the last five stocks I found which beat Tesla, you know, have better profit factors, have higher win rates. So ZI, growth stock, Stone Co, growth stock, US oil surprisingly is great for fading gaps. And this is only for fading the gaps. I didn't do any back testing for buying the dips. JD, great for fading the gaps. And CCJ, great for fading the gaps. So the best one on this screen is going to be JD with a 3.3 profit factor, which means every trade you're taking, it's like a one to three risk to reward. So you have a chance of making three bucks or losing a dollar. So it's a great risk to reward. Yeah, it's three... 3.3 is one of the highest I see out there. And US oil um, has the most trades. So the higher number of trades, the more trustable the data is. Anything under 100, we don't really have that much faith in it long term, but we need more data points. But you can see from the data here, um, there's some stocks out there that do a little bit better than Tesla. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you learned a lot. If you want to join me for 15 days inside the trading group, you know what to do. Hit the link below. We'd love to have you. We're going to go live tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. to scalp with the crew, and we might be using this strategy, so you should check it out live. It's going to be a good time. That's all I got. Have a great day, and check out this video to the right of me on Tesla Leap Options. Peace out.